On May 6, the Bahamas Association of Athletic Associations worshipped at Evangelistic Temple in celebration of its 60th anniversary. The association, founded on May 6, 1952, has played an integral role in the training and development of Bahamian athletes, both locally and abroad. At the recent 60th anniversary church service, the only living founder of the B3As, Sir Orville Turncrest, brought remarks and reflected on the initial meeting in 1952. Members of the Evangelistic Temple, I am actually the founding secretary of the B3As. And I feel very honored and blessed to be here today to attend this service in this beautiful new Christian edifice as we celebrate the 60th anniversary of the founding of the B3As. I was one of the founders of the B3As, and I well remember that historic occasion when the first meeting was held 60 years ago on this very date, the 6th of May, 1952. And I had the honor of being elected as the first secretary of the B3As. Today, I am the only surviving member of the original founders group. And to save you the math, I was 22 at the time. We here in the Bahamas, although a very small country, are very blessed with outstanding athletic talent. Since 1992, the Bahamas has won medals at every international competition except two. And our athletes have just returned, as you have heard, from Bermuda with 40 medals, having finished. <laughs> having finished overall in second position behind Jamaica. So with you, I say what a wonderful achievement, what a wonderful blessing that we have so many talented athletes in such a small nation. So we give thanks to God this morning for all of this, and we pray for our continued athletic and academic achievements, especially as we prepare now for participation in the forthcoming Olympic Games, which will be held in London later this year. We, rem we remember, too, <clears throat> that next year, we shall be hosting here in the Bahamas, Carifta, and we pray that this also will be a highly successful and memorable occasion. And so again, let me say how grateful I am to be here today. Um, we, are, we are grateful to this church, the pastor, and its members for allowing us to worship on this occasion here in this church. And I pray for God's richest blessings on all of us and all of you here today. Thank you very much. He added that the Bahamas is blessed with outstanding athletic talent. Furthermore, Mike Sands, president, made remarks regarding the historic anniversary day morning, of the Church. B3As. There's really not much more that I need to add to what Sir Orville has said. But however, I, it gives me great pleasure to stand before you as well to bring greetings on behalf of the executive members and the athletes, many of whom are present here on this historic occasion of the Beatrice's 60th anniversary on this day. A day later, the Bahamas Olympic Association was formed and it became necessary to do so in order for the Bahamas to compete in the Olympics. That, that year would have been 1952. The Bahamas did not compete in the 52 Olympics in track and field, but one sporting icon by the name of Sir Derwood Knowles competed uh, for Great Britain in the Olympics. 1956, a couple years later, a little boy just across the street or from a block away, an 18-year-old boy by the name of Thomas Augustus Robinson, better known as Tommy Robinson, 
competed for the Bahamas in the 56 Olympics in Melbourne, Australia. The beach race has gone from strength to strength based on the vision that persons such as Sir Orwell uh, and his founding members had. And I would do injustice if I did not recognize those persons by name. Uh, it started in the office of AF Adley. Uh, there was Cyril Stevenson, Sir Randall Fox, Joseph Garfunkel, Mr. Reginald Robertson, Mr. Edward Mitchell, Fred Moultrie, Sir Kendall Isaacs, C.B. Bethel, Sir Gerald Crash, of course, Orville Turnquist, and Edwin Davis. And then we had a number of presidents that came along, including Salington Butler, who is present, Mr. Harold Munnings, Mr. Alfred Finlayson, Forster Dorset, Dr. Bernard Nordage, a number of distinguished gentlemen that have brought this organization to where it is today. And so it is against this backdrop that I stand very proudly following in the footsteps. I don't know if I can fill those shoes, but following in the footsteps of those gentlemen and the pace and the legacy that they have left for us to guide these young people, because that's what we're in this for, to mold, to mold and guide these young people, not just in sports, but in the academics. And we take great pride in being able to assist them in their academic endeavors. And so we are also a faith-based organization because we know that our strength does not just come from the talents of the athletes alone, but it comes from a greater power. And so as we continue, we ask you to continue to keep us in your prayers so that we may be able to guide these young people forgetting all our differences and ensure that what we are here for is for the purpose of molding young people to become better productive citizens. Because if you look at the presidents and the founders that came along and went along, they've all distinguished themselves in some way, shape, or form in their own way. And so I am on their shoulders and I'm still looking out to ensure that you know, we can move the organization from strength to strength, but we can only do so with the help, the prayers, and the support of all of you. I thank you very much for this time. Other founding members included renowned community builders, C.V. Bethel, Gerald Cash, Edwin Davies, Reginald Farrington, Randall Folks, Joseph Garfunkel, Kendall Isaacs, Edward Mitchell, Fred Moultrie, Cyril Richardson, and Reginald John Robertson. Bringing you the highlights in Bahamian sports, Bahamas Athletics, Fast Track News, number one in the field. I'm Sherelle Carroll.